The crowd is amped up, ready to get this season underway, as are we. Back with more in a minute. From inside Tropicana Field in Tampa Bay, opening day baseball on the show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. John Shambi on play-by-play. -play. Chris Singleton providing the color. So the Toronto Blue Jays looking like a team that could make some noise. It's a strong roster to start the year. Where do you think they stack up among the league's best? Oh, Boog, they're definitely contenders, no doubt about that. Plenty of talent on this roster. Maybe not a juggernaut, but a good team. And I think they might need to patch some holes at some point, though. Yeah, time will tell, of course, but I agree with you. They look like they're set up to play meaningful baseball all the way to game 162, maybe beyond. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. About to get started here, and on the hill in this one, Shane McClanahan. Oh, a very solid ERA last season, just a little over three. And when you've got a guy like that you know, taking the mound for you, the offense is definitely expected to score you know, four runs at least unless they're really struggling. So you know yeah, yeah, yeah. more times than not, when he's on the ball, the right you're going to win the ball game if you just do your part as an offense. So last year, great year. He wants to repeat that or even improve. And I think there is some room for improvement. He's got good stuff. It's just executing from hitter to hitter. George Springer leading things off and takes a strike. There's a swing and a miss. Talk about tying it up. That was ugly. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball still 0-2. Pitch. One that ball. one almost got him. And yeah, that's outside. Oh, that got yeah, away from him. him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Well, it's safe to say he won't be getting invited to the charity golf tournament this offseason. Kevin Kiermeyer, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Go ahead, run at first. Nobody out here on opening day. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet was my wrist one and ball. my hand not even close there ball one go to fastball way out of the zone I think he's trying to speed him off got to stay back off speed's hey. probably coming got him now one away very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play you don't even have to get a hit at that point you can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And a pitch. That oh, one misses, and yeah, that's ball one. And there's a foul ball. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to Lau. And that's two. <laughs> Nothing across here this half. And now. Back here with my pal Siggy. Now the starting pitcher in this one. Kevin Gossman. Siggy, he's a guy that can rack up a lot of strikeouts. Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working. Go, it no, becomes a little right. tougher to keep hitters guessing, right, right. especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. Espinal. One gone, oh. bottom half of the first. Take a look good. at the lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for him. 
What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Three up, three down, inning over. Down in order, go the Rays. Scoreless after one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now, here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I love the fact that we've seen both Vladimir Guerrero and Vladdy Jr. win the home run derby. They're the first father-son duo to ever win it. Vladdy back in 2007 and Vladdy Jr. in 2023. Even though his dad didn't give him any advice for the event other than to go out there and hit home runs. The 0-1. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. The other way, and that one gets down. Fair ball. Around first, digging for two. The throw into second. The tag. Ow! Gotta love the hustle and the attitude there to try to stretch that single into a double, but unfortunately thrown out at second base. He was so close to being in scoring position. Justin Turner now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. McClanahan, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a change-up, a curve, and he works in a slider. Gets under it and pops it up. Loud on the move. Pulls it in for the out. And there are two down. Now it's the DH, number 36. Swing and a miss. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Gotta make a quick adjustment. Two outs. Nope, outside. Foul ball still, one and two count. Two outs, space is empty. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Back now in Tampa and Bay, bottom of the away. inning, and stepping in for the Rays, Isak Paredes. And that misses off the outside edge. pitch fights that one away still one and two and another ball and a swing and a miss one away now it's Randy at Rosarena that one ripped but foul one out, base is empty. Nope, Just missed. Pitch is in the dirt, and it's two and one. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Two ball, two strike. Ground ball to the right side. Guerrero oh. takes it himself. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Brandon Lau in the box with two gone and it takes a look at a called strike on the ground right side gathers and throws to first Lau out on the play 
And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing. Out of the third inning. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Varsho measures 5 feet 10 inches, 205 pounds, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Wisconsin. He'll walk. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. And that's in the dirt. One and two to count. to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Out to short, Rosario. Tosses the first, leadoff hitter gone in the third. Here's the Toronto catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Popped up. Lau settles underneath it. And it's caught for the out. And now for the Jays, Santiago Espinal. First pitch misses. Espinal, a former All-Star, 29 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Foul ball. The pitch. In the air to left center. Siri really on his horse for it. Got it. Really had to move for that catch. Back here at Tropicana Field. Digging in. Jose Siri. The third pitch. Right through there for a strike. Pitch misses there. One ball, one strike. I got a ball, one strike. And a foul ball. Right into the plate. Goes down looking. You know, splitters aren't thrown by a ton of pitchers. And one of the main reasons is that they're difficult to control. And not many guys can spot them consistently where they want to. But he's one of those exceptions. He's found a way to corral a split. And he can place it on a dime just like he did right there. Ahmed Rosario, batting with one down, takes a strike. Next offering is downstairs. Line drive and oh, foul it. ball. Line drive and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, not in time. Okay. He's got a double. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One that thing that was great that. about the approach, the his head that. was down all really the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Oh, 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 position oh. now and a good opportunity to push across the first row of the ball game. And there's a strike. Ball, two strike. Ground ball up the middle. Bichette tosses to Got first. It. He's out. And now Josh Lowe just oh, missed. Out. Next offering is in for a strike. One and one. Swing and a miss. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down. Now ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Set for the start of the inning, and it'll be George Springer to step to the plate as the lefty gets to work. This to center field. Siri in position. He's there. He's got it. And there's one down. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Mind, and that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Bull Bichette up to the dish. 0 for 1 so far. 
And that one fouled off. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. One and, one. and that one goes straight to the backstop. And now a man into scoring position. All tied up. Top half of inning number four. And that's down it away. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. Fouled off. He was late. Way high. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Fourth inning underway, no score. And that's ball four. Now back at the first three. Go ahead, run on base. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. will hit next. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Two on, one out. And that one fouled off. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. Hey. Got him. And there's two away. Just locked him up right there for the second out. And that's an bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot. So now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Here's Turner now. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And that one is gone. A monster shot to right. It's 3-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. scary for a pitcher when a guy can take a fastball down the middle and hit it to the opposite field. No holes in a swing like that. And that time that ball was hit hard. So two down. Now it's the Toronto designated hitter. Number 36. Foul ball there. Ah. Swing and a miss. Oh, with two down. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And that's off the inside edge. Now one and two. That one called just inside, I think. And on the mound, he's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though. But he clearly thought it clipped the corner. Shoots a line drive single into right center. And that extends the inning. Love how he let that ball travel, oh, trusted his hands. Ball. Nice job of going Dalton. the other way. So oh, digging yeah. in, Dalton Varsho. Oh, and that's outside. Now. One and oh. Out there to center. Brings it in, and that'll do it. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. It's now 3-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy. Now at the plate, Harold Ramirez. Out to short. The throw to first. And a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind hey. him with another ground ball. Good execution. Diaz stands in now and watches strike hey. one. And that one clips the corner. Ripped on the ground a second. In plenty of time to first. And a couple of quick outs. Two outs, bases empty. Isaac Paredes now. That clips the corner. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps with over 80% of your first pitches or strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this off. Gets the outside corner with that one. One ball. 
the Blue Jays leading by three. We're here in the bottom of the three. And down on strikes. And a nice inning of work. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the catcher comes up to him. Alejandro Kirk. In the air left field. A Rosarena moving under it. Pulls it in and there's one away. So up next for Toronto, Santiago Espinal. And that one is lifted in the air. Low has it sized up. That's out number two. And the batter is George Springer. He's all for one. That misses. And that is ball one. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. That takes care of Springer, and that is that. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Leading off, Randy or Rosarena. Right through there for a strike. Well, these Rays, they're not going to be happy with the advance they've been having so far. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. The one-two. Fights it off, you'll see another. And the right hater deals. Oh. That one just misses. <laughs> Got him looking for the K. Now that one. And now it's Brandon Lau. Fastball for a strike. Going one. Base is empty one away as we play game one of this four game series. Strike two. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt him. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And good work there as he gets. Now on the mound for the Rays, Kevin Kelly. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Ground ball left side. No play, that's an infield single. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get... Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Go to second, and he's out. Well, this is a real momentum killer after the leadoff single. Tried to steal second base on the first pitch. Defense was all over it. Nicely done from behind the plate with the catch and throw. Then a quick tag before he reaches the base. Bounced out to short. Over to Diaz. And Bichette is retired. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. One for two. Ball one, no strikes. Activity in the bullpen. Phil Maton getting loose out there. Armstrong also throwing. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He'll touch them all. His first homer of the year, and they tack one on the board. It's 4 0. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Justin Turner. He's already homered in this game. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. Turner, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2006. 
In the air, right field. Low makes the catch, and that'll do it. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're dialed into the show. And we're back. And John Chompy with Chris Singleton in the booth. And That's leading off the right. bottom of the six, Ahmed Rosario. Right through there for a strike. Way out front for strike two. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The one two the punch out there looks like he's picked up right where he left off well right now he's now in cruise out. control yeah. autopilot yeah. just dominating these hitters I mean, it doesn't look like it's a fun at bat and all of a sudden you become in awe of this guy in the ball, mound right somebody's got to break this thing up that's five straight strikeouts got to put a ball in play next offering is in for a strike and Whoa, another ball Right side, and it goes just foul. The Rays down by four here in the bottom of the sixth. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you can find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Harold Ramirez at the dish. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. New inning getting started, and now to the Here's the Toronto DH, number 36. And he deals. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Well, these Jays, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. Swings through that. One ball, two strikes. Righty delivers. Fouls it off, still one and two. Right hander kicks deals. Oh, that's, out. that's outside. And the count is even two and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. The 2-2 two -two on the way. And he hits a ground ball right side, sneaks through, base hit. He saw a lot of pitches in that at bat and found a way to win the battle. Every now and then, you'll see a right fielder try to throw off that runner at first. The hitter takes offense to it. Well, nobody ever tried to throw you out at first. Just the second baseman every time I'd roll over on the ground. That's Good out. feed. That's one. Hey. Throw to first, but he beat it. Alejandro Kirk now at the plate. On the ground, two ball. Steps on the back for one. And it's a double play to end the inning. Back now in Tampa Bay. Yandy Diaz now. Fall off foul. Timing issues can snowball quickly, and that's what we're witnessing here. This lineup's inability to lock onto the pitcher's delivery is causing a few awkward swings. Stays alive. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Paredes in the box now. No balls and a strike. The 
The Rays down by four here the bottom of the seventh on the ground of first and it gets by him. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No nope. runs Outside. across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So nope, I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Yeah. Here's a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. And it's even two up. Two strike. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. And the pitch. And a good eye there. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. That one, 95 to finish him off. Come on, come on. That was just excellent location on that inside fastball. It really locked him up. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The Jays leading by four as we play game one of this four-game series. Fires over to Guerrero. Lau out on the play. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Phil Maton. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. The pitch. Espinal at the play for the third time as he comes up empty there. And a pitch. One ball, two strikes. And Let's there's a the ball. Now. And ah. swinging for the strikeout. And him way out front of a slur. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Here's George Springer. Wouldn't chase that time. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Garrett Clevenger warming up for manager Kevin Cash. One down, base is empty. On the ground to third, and he can't come up with it. Throw to first, gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. Here's Kiermaier now. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first and hustling for second. Pulls in with a double third hit for him today. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Bobachet gets a chance to hit. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one for strike two. Well, that's that slow right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the end. Bottom of the eighth, and now it's Jose Siri. That one fouled off. Gosman still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. That one hit to right, and that is Springer. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand 
of a guy like this because he's so competitive. Espinal quickly to second oh. for one. Double oh. play. They can't seem to break through. And the Rays, they go to the bullpen. Sean Armstrong. Number Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's already homer here in this one. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Pitch misses, and it's one and one. And another ball. And a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. 2-2 two, two now. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter. Lowing away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. I'll tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Armstrong, the 6-2 righty. He throws a cutter, a sinker, a four-seamer, and he works in a slider. And here it comes. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. One ball, count one and two. Two strikes. Swings and misses. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Number 36 digs in now. Ball and one. the first pitch misses for ball one. And a miss, strike one. One and one. And Eight. one and two. One ball, two strikes. And nope. that one missing low, and that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Good eye in that spot. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Siri in position. He's got it, and that is that. Back here with my pal Siggy. Bottom of the ninth. Here's the Rays' leadoff hitter, Josh Lowe. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Nope. Good eye right there. Well, he's back out there to pitch the ninth and about to throw his 100th oh, pitch. Man, this is exciting. I hope they let him finish this one. The count two and one. And that one pulled foul. Two-two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. The Rays down by four. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Just missed. One ball, two strikes, count. Yeah. The pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Springer on the move. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. Last chance for the Rays. And out first baseman, Gandhi Diaz. Two down, nobody on. Ground ball, and this should do it. 
throw to first. Ball game. And the Blue Jays collect their first win of the season. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. A 4-0 shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.